Okay, next we're going to take a look at understanding and managing memory. So let's look at an overview of what we're going to cover first. First we're going to talk about the types of physical memory housed on the system board and on the expansion boards. Then we'll look at how memory is used by the most common operating systems like DOS, Windows 9X, Windows NT40, and Windows 2000. And then we'll look at how we can upgrade the memory in our own computers. So first let's look at the types of physical memory. First physical memory we'll take a look at is ROM. ROM stands for read only memory. And as you'll remember, BIOS is read only memory. BIOS is important for the computer because it allows the computer to be able to start without an operating system. This is because ROM does not lose its data when the power is turned off. This is a picture of a ROM BIOS memory chip on a system board. This particular BIOS is an award BIOS. There's also what's called RAM or random access memory. This is the primary memory that's held in the computer. It temporarily holds data and instructions as the CPU is processing them. But RAM loses data when the PC is turned off. Everybody's probably had that uh, that experience where you've created an Excel spreadsheet or a Word document and thought you had saved it, but you never actually saved it. Uh, power goes off or you shut down out of the program and you find out that you've lost your data. That's because it was stored in RAM and when the power was turned off, the data was lost. There are two categories of RAM. There are SRAM and DRAM and we're going to be discussing both of them. This is an example of RAM installed into an, a, into an expansion board or into a motherboard. There's also a faster type of memory called flash memory. Flash memory acts like a secondary storage. In other words, it doesn't lose its data either when power is turned off. It holds data electronically. It provides very fast access, but it's very expensive. Flash memory uses what's called EEPROM chips. Those are electronically erasable, programmable, read-only memory. Cache is another special kind of memory. Cache uses what's called SRAM or static RAM, and cache requires a cache controller. On the older 386 computers, the cache controller was located in a single chip called the 385 chip. But in newer computers, 486s and later, the cache controller chip is actually embedded into the CPU. The difference between SRAM and other memory is that SRAM provides faster access because it doesn't need to be constantly rewritten data is held in SRAM in what are called transistors which can hold a charge. In DRAM the chips are made of capacitors which must constantly be recharged. But due to the expense of us SRAM most of the computers that we use today have very little SRAM mostly just used for cache and a lot of DRAM. There are two varieties of SRAM. These are synchronous SRAM and asynchronous SRAM. Synchronous SRAM is faster but more expensive. It requires a clock signal to validate its control signals, which enables the cache to run in step with the CPU. Asynchronous SRAM does not work in step with the CPU clock and therefore it's slower than SRAM. So SRAM is very fast but, th but there are some dynamic RAM or DRAM technologies that are coming around as well. In the next section we'll compare DRAM with SRAM.